Ericsson's successful return has been the most uplifting story of the Premier League campaign, with the 30-year-old marking his comeback with a series of impressive goal-scoring displays to effectively rubber-stamp Brentford's survival. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel. Moving on. A remarkable 4-1 win as Chelsea lifted the B's 11 points clear off the drop zone and allowed them to start planning for another year in the Premier League. With further recruitment meetings set for later this month, Ericsson will certainly feature prominently in them and Brentford want him to ink a long-term deal, even if both parties are relaxed about the future. Indeed, Brentford believe there is a realistic chance of Ericsson staying with them beyond the initial six-month deal agreed in January, but much will depend on whether lucrative offers come from elsewhere. He could, in theory, play in Spain, although he is understood to want to go remain in the Premier League. The player also, the player is also understood to be enjoying his time playing under Thomas. Frank, who said on Saturday that the player was just enjoying the moment before acknowledging the midfielder's future, would dominate his press conferences between now and close season. Ericsson's quality has stood out, but also his mental resilience to return to playing at the highest level after his cardiac arrest last year. Physically, it has taken him a while to get up to speed, but a support program that had to be devised to ensure Ericsson could join the Bees has helped on the front, and the progressive club he has joined have benefited from worldwide positive publicity that will help them attract players as they look to progress and become an established Premier League club, whether he says or no. Thanks for it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.